Austin City Council members could seal the deal on the development of the former green water treatment plant. It has been a deal four years in the making now, but there are some big sticking points that could delay it even further. Kate Whitehall is live downtown with your details. Good morning. Good morning. Well, the green water treatment plant site right here behind me, it's 4.4 acres and it's valued at $41 million. And back in 2008, the company called Trammell Crow won the rights to be the first to negotiate the deal to buy this land and redevelop it. Well, today, City Council will decide whether or not to accept the $42.4 million deal. And this would be a multi-year development, but in the end, this is what it could all look like. Two apartment towers would be at least 30 stories tall with an estimated 826 apartments. There would be a hotel, a new office tower, and plenty of retail space. The new library is also slated to go on this land. But here's the issue with some council members. When Trammell Crow initially presented their proposal to the city on what they wanted to build, there was going to be a senior living center, and at least 80 apartment units were slated for low-income families. Well, now that senior living center is off the table for phase one, and about half of the original apartments labeled as affordable are not part of the deal. Plus, those apartments will only stay affordable for seven years. The developers say it's because of changes to an underground parking garage that will now add to the cost. But it's these two issues that are big sticking points for council member Kathy Tovo. You know, one of the things that I am going to be looking for is whether the developer is willing to consider a longer affordability period. And in my mind, that really should be um, 40 years. Well, if City Council approves the deal today, Trammell Crow could break ground early next year. Also, if this deal is approved, Council then plans to allocate about $20 million from the sale of this property, and then they would reinvest that into the Seahome Development District right on the other side. Uh, some of that $20 million would be used to build roads as well as make improvements to Shoal Creek. Of course, we'll keep you posted on what happens today at Council. We're live in downtown Austin, Kate Wydaw, KXAN News.